Good morning. Happy Thursday. Today is February the 8th of 2024. Y'all listen. The name of the game is consistency, right? I should have did this last night, but I didn't, so I'm doing it now. So good morning. Welcome to Rashida Monique. This is the Daily Shift broadcast for this Thursday. We follow the shift protocol over here. This is where we talk about soul searching on Mondays. Tuesdays, we talk about healing. <coughs> Excuse me. Wednesdays, we talk about intervention and Thursdays we talk about focus I do appreciate you all for being here I do appreciate you all for following this broadcast I hope it blesses you wherever you are in your life's journey so today we've been talking about heart work this week we've been talking about where your heart is we've been talking about pulling the scabs off of your heart um yesterday we talked about continue on in the process don't give up don't quit it may be hard work but it is worth it but i want to talk about something about your heart and i'm talking to those of you that um may be the only saved individual or the only person that is per- seem to be pursuing the uh let's go back you seem you seem to be the only person in your life pursuing the things of god you're the only one that's trying to do this kingdom work you seem to be alone um in your circle of friends or family that um seem to be uh, intentional and concerned about the state of your soul and the state of your heart as it pertains to the word of god so listen here you guys number one before i finish this i'm driving so let me first apologize for all the noise you finna hear okay all right so now um it seems to be a lonely place the enemy will have you believe have you believe that it's not worth the work it's not worth the work to be an example. It's not worth the work to keep witnessing to them. and not worth the work to continue on um, explain to them about the things of God, share with them about the things of God, to testify about the things that God is doing in your life. But can I tell you that when you your heart is continuing to move into a hopper, uh, the proper place, that you'll begin to have more compassion, even for those that are closest to you, that you feel like should know better, should do better, because that's how God feels about them. When you do the proper heart work, your heart becomes uh, tender to the things that touch God's heart. To uh, The Bible talks about the widows and the orphans and those without. It talks about loving your neighbor and You know, we have the parable about the Good Samaritan and how, you know, it didn't matter who this person was or how they as a society felt about them personally, as the Samaritans personally, um, that the Samaritan did what was right, even we would say above and beyond. So, but your heart has to be in that place. And so today is Thursday. So we talk about focus on Thursdays. I want you to focus on your heart work because as the individual that is leading your family like Moses led the children of Israel out of bondage and then those of you that are the Moses of Moses not the Moses the Noah's of your family and you're like well, what's the difference between Moses Moses what's the difference between Noah and Moses Moses led them out of bondage right he led them out of bondage take them to a promised land But I'm going to tell you what Noah did. Noah built an ark to protect the family and the bloodline. And so some people are Moseses. And this came to the Lord gave me this on Monday. He gave some people to be the Moses of their family to bring them out of different places so they can experience different things, know God in a different way. Some uh, people are the Noah. You may be in a family that people know God. But they're fine. They feel they're complacent. They may be fine where they are. But God has called you to be a Noah. So you're trying to lead them out of the wilderness, but your job is not the wilderness. Your job is to be that protector, to show them how to walk in that protected place in God, to show them how to hide under the shadow of the Almighty, to show them how to run to the name of God that is a strong tower where the righteous can run into and find safety. Your job is to show them how to obey God and see the protection and see the favor and see 
what God is going to do. And so you may be a Moses or you may be a Noah and they both seem like lonely places, but both of them was counted righteous because of their faith, because they believed God and they took God at his word and they obeyed him. And so with your heart work, I don't want you to walk in disobedience because your heart is broken. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't want you to walk in disobedience because your heart is uh, uh, not healed or because your heart is still harboring um, ill intent or because your heart is still harboring grudges and holding things against people or comparing people to people uh, to other people these people to other people but our job is to see people as god does and i um doing the prayer love revival on yesterday as i was talking to uh, lady broxton and there is one thing that she said and she said i pray to ask god to allow me to love like i've never been hurt and that's not just in romantic relationships even in our families and our friendships we have been hurt we have been offended we have been harboring hurts and as we go through our life we're going to experience some things that hurt but our job is to continue yet to love like we've never been hurt, to serve God's people as if we've never been hurt. Now, I'm not talking about walking in denial, because we talked about denial um, as not faith. But say, okay, God, I'm hurt, but I need you to show me how to process this hurt. I need to you to show me how to live with this hurt. I even know, need you to show me how to set boundaries just so I won't, uh, if case my boundaries are not held up or it's something you told me to do and I didn't do, you told me not to go and I didn't go, I need you to help me not to be found in this place again uh, with this hurt. But I don't want to be uh, harboring uh, things in my heart because of it. I want to be able to love your people like I've never been hurt. Y'all remember that song, A Heart That Forgives, A Heart That Let Lives, Though Gives Me A Heart That Forgives by, hmm. I don't know its name. Anyway, it's called A Heart That Forgives. I do know that's the name of it. But there's a part of it, there's an extended version on the album where he's praying for the leaders. He's praying for the bishops and the, and the uh, pastors that were at that live recording. And he says, some of you are suffering from sheep bites. You've been bitten by the people you were trying to lead. And now you are suffering, right? We are not to suffer from the uh, the offense that we receive from the people that we're serving. We are not to live in that suffering. Number one, you know you're leading God's people into a place they've never been before. So there's going to be hiccups and issues that we uh, face when dealing with God's people. But our job is to continue to put our heart before the Lord and, and, and fast and to pray, right? And the Bible says some things only come up by fasting and praying or these things. You know, a lot of times this hurt this pain it only can be healed by fasting and praying we only can have a true perspective when we kill our flesh right through fasting and submit our bodies uh to god through fasting and prayer and commit and submit to his process it's time for us to stop thinking that fasting and praying is the quickest way to get things it is not to get things fasting and prayer is to kill your flesh so you can submit to the will of god fasting and praying is to kill your will to accept god's will jesus fasted and prayed he didn't fast and pray to own everything he already owned he didn't fast and pray to have dominion over things he already had dominion over he fasted and prayed to keep his flesh under subjection while he was in this body so he could obey the will of the father even unto the depth of the cross and so our jobs is to keep our focus and when you find your focus is broken or when you find that you are strained from what the word says your job is to fast and to pray to bring yourself under subjection of what god has called for you to do and he's called for you to be the moses he's called for you to be the noah he has called for you to be the deliverer he's called for you to be the teacher he has called for you to be the covering for your house to keep your focus on this thursday lord we praise and we thank you we magnify you, we give you glory, and we give you honor for the things that you have done in our lives and in our bodies, God, the things you've done in our families. And Lord, show us how, God, 
Show us how to line up with your word. Show us how to walk according to your will and to your way. God, show us how to fulfill the destiny and the plan you have for us. God, that you created us with purpose before the foundations of the earth. And for God, we for that, God, we glorify you. We honor you and we give you praise for it on today. Now, God, as we leave this broadcast and as we walk through this hot work, God, be with us. We know there's nothing too hard for you and that you're with us in everything that we go through. So, God, as we lead our families and as we we take on new things and as we stand in the gap for our loved ones and for those that we serve God we ask you to heal our hearts on this morning God we ask you to heal our souls on this morning God we ask you to deliver us on this morning and God we just praise and we thank you for this that you've done and all the things that you're going to do in our lives watch over us and keep us God we ask you to bless the path of our feet that we won't go anywhere that brings shame to your name God touch the work of our hands that we will only put our hands to the work that you've called us to do and we won't do harm with our hands God we ask you to touch our mouths on today that our mouths will be filled with life love and the word of God and we won't have blessing and cursings flowing from the same fountain God but we will bless and curse not God we ask you to bless the hearing of our ear, God, that we will shut our ears to the enemy, God, and only listen to the things of you because we are your sheep and you are our shepherd and you're the only voice that we honor and respect on today. God, we ask you to bless the work of our hearts and the intent thereof, God, that we will love your people, serve your people, and be your service in this earth, in this day and time. And we just praise and we thank you for what you've done and all the things that you're doing. In Jesus' blessed name, amen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for sharing. Go ahead and subscribe on whatever platform you find this this video, this audio. And um, leave a comment. Let me know that you're still in it. I'm still with it. I'm still focused. Let me know in the comments if you're still focused on getting your heart right with the Lord. Get lining up with the word of God the way he intended. And so... I thank you for watching. Thank you all for being here. Remember to tune in to the Love Prayer Revival airing February the 11th through February the 17th. This is a revival where we pray about all things love for seven days. It is going to be a dynamic uh, worship experience for you on these social media streets. So make sure that you are subscribed to Rosheeda Monique on my YouTube channel. Turn on your notifications. Make sure you are following me on my Facebook channel, Rosheeda Monique. Turn on your notifications there. I do want you to know before we leave this broadcast that you are blessed. You are honey favorite. You are the apple of your father's eye. He is absolutely and positively concerned about you. He thinks that you are the best thing since sliced bread. You can cast your cares upon him and know that God cares for you and that he loves you with an everlasting love. And there's nothing and no thing you could do about it. You all have a wonderful, you all have a blessed day.